Hey, welcome to my journey and to another chatting haul. Listen, I hauled um, early in the week. This is just Monday, but I knew they were putting their Valentine stuff out up in Salisbury, and you know there's that ribbon I wanted. You just stay tuned to see if I got it. But yesterday, we had our New Year's Eve, not New Year's Eve, New Year's Day supper. We had the hog jails and some ham and rice and black eyed peas and collard greens and coconut custard pie for dessert. Oh, yes, I did eat some. It was good. I ain't going to lie about it. That thing was good. But let me tell you this. So when Holly Nathan and Jacob got here, he comes in the door and he starts doing this. That means he wants to eat. That's some, the, the child knows so, so much Sign language, just not even funny. So I'm like, okay. I go over there. I had graham crackers and I had Ritz crackers. I held both of them out. I said, which one you want? So he went for the graham crackers. Well, I mean the, the Ritz crackers. So, of course, he wants one for each hand. He's eating his crackers. And I told Holly, I said, well, I wonder if he'd eat black-eyed peas. She goes, well, I don't know. He likes black beans. I said, well, we're going to find out. So I put some on a plate, pop, popped it in the freezer, let it cool off a little bit. And he, he was sitting over there, and, and I held it down to him. I said, here, you want some of this? He picked up one and put it in his mouth. Then he picked up a second one and put it in his mouth. Then he does this. Face planted right in the plate and got a big old mouthful. <laughs> now, these were the little paper plates about that big. When I tell you he had four plates of black-eyed peas, I am not exaggerating. And we didn't put a few on there. We, we put a spoonful, you know, a, a serving spoonful. He had four plates of black-eyed peas. He kept saying, more, more. So we'd give him more. We'd give him more. He was sitting in his high chair over here beside me. And when I got my plate and sat down, I said, well, you reckon he'd eat some greens? Nathan's like, well, we can see. So I put a uh, fork over there. He opened his mouth. He took a bite of greens. More. More. <laughs> we give him some greens. So he was sitting there. And mind you, in amongst all this black eyed pea and green eating, he was eating rich crackers too because he kept wanting crackers. I don't know how many crackers he ate. I, I just don't. I, don't, I lost count. I, I didn't even count how many. So then, um, he, I mean, he walked around and he was eating and Holly picked him up and she was just holding whatever. Well, I got my fruit bowl over there, you know, and I had those apples to make David that apple pie dessert and I just hadn't made it yet. Well, he wanted it. So, of course, he's going to get what he wants. Now, that apple, if y'all watched my haul, that apple was huge. It was a Honeycrisp apple. I never had one, but my recipe called for large apples, and those were the biggest ones I had. I mean, it's a huge apple. So she gave it to him. He starts, you know, eating on it. Next thing you know, she goes, Whoa, them bottom teeth got some apple. There was a little bit where he, because he's got his top teeth are starting to come in now. He pinched off a little bit of that apple. Then next thing you know, he, he, he got the taste of it. So I told um, Nathan, I said, well, cut part of it off. That way he can like get to it. So he, what he did was he cut it in half and then he cut the other half into two pieces. The boy had one in each hand. And I'm going to tell you what. When I say he walked around the rest of the night with those apples, I'm telling you, he was eating apples to beat the band. He almost ate a full half of that giant apple. He would not stop eating. He juice everywhere. <laughs> he was a sticky mess. And he would still come over there and get more crackers. So from the time he got here, which was about 4.30, to the time they left, which was probably close to 7, he ate the entire time. Truth have I ever told it. He was a bottomless pit. And Holly said he had been eating all day. It ain't like she started when he was picking on her. Like, well, he had to come over here to Mamo's house and eat because you don't let him eat at your house. <laughs> Listen, she says some days all she can do is keep food in him. 
that the, all he wants to do is just eat, eat, eat. And we're like, well, he is a grown boy. And he is a grown boy. But he had, listen, I had that pie. And I said, well, let's see if you'll eat that pie. So I just took a little tip end off on my fork. I would tell you, my lips was dry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I was talking about that pie. I got the smack in my lips. I put that pie up there. He goes, <laughs> he wouldn't even put it in his mouth. Went right back to that apple. I'm like, the day any kinfolk of mine would prefer an apple over a coconut pie, I don't know what to do about all that. So anyway, but that was um, a good time. And, and RJ and his Holly was here and we had a good time eating and laughing. And we got, so we got our good luck in for the year. And um, I was thinking to myself, you know what? I need to make at least once a month or once every six weeks something for them to come over here and eat because I just, I miss being with them. You know, they have lives and they're busy and working and all this and that. But I feel like one Sunday a month or something, they need to come over here and eat with me. So I'm going to um, put that out there. But um, I was sitting back there this morning, starting on that blame menu. I told David, I said, I'm like a airhead this morning. It's just nothing coming to me. <laughs> Little things did finally start coming to me. And uh, he had to go down there and he's he's working on that house down there. He's running into, you know how it's like when you fix a car, you fix one thing and then you run into something else. Well, it's that's what's going on down there. Um, he's working on one thing and then something else comes up and it's all having to do with the water, the well water, the hard water, the minimal minerals, the, I don't know what all has like rusted things. We, we've replaced the washing machine. Now we're having to replace the, the dishwasher. We've replaced the toilets. So everything that had to do with water needed fixing and he's putting in a water softener and, and it won't fit out of the house with the hot water heater where he wanted it so now he's got to plumb the garage so he can put it in the garage and then and wire it out in the garage and it's just one little something after the another so but he don't work tonight he got the night off for um new year's so he'll be down there until dark and um i was just thinking well i'm gonna go find that lace I'm going to Salisbury and I'm going to find that lace. So what I did was I stopped by my Dollar Tree, not the one I go to, but the, the newest one down here because I hadn't been in there to see if they got Valentine's stuff out and all. That is, for a brand new store, it is junky. It looks like it's been there for five years. It's junky. They don't keep it up. They don't keep it neat. It's just piled up. And they still had their Christmas stuff out um, half price. Empty, empty shelves all around. It was just, it was a mess. So, I mean, I found a few things in there, obviously, because I have a Dollar Tree haul. And then I went up to Salisbury, and I was going to go to the Salvation Army, but they were closed. So I went to the Habitat, because, um, like I said, the other haul, I didn't think about it when me and Holly was up there. And so I thought, well, while I'm in town, I'll just go ahead and go. So I just got a couple things there. So that's what I'm going to show you today is Dollar Tree. And I just put all the Dollar Tree together. I didn't separate it out. It's just all in here together. And um, a habitat. Uh, so we'll, we'll just do the Dollar Tree first. Now, I can't decide. See, I'm wanting to reorganize my craft room. And I have a notebook that keeps all my dates and whatnot in it. But I kind of want to quit using it as a desk because that's all I do is put that on there. I don't like sit at the desk and do anything. I sit at my craft table and put my sewing machine up because I'd kind of like to sew some things to go on my journals, like some lace on the pages instead of stapling it or gluing it. I kind of want to get my sewing machine out, but it's just aggravating to drag it in and out because it's a portable one, you know not in the, the the desk over there is my mama's sewing machine so that's what i'm using as a table desk whatever so i either got this to put my appointments on and just put in my little like where my little books are on the side what i really was planning before that and i can go get another one it's not like i can't get another one is to write down my meals 
when I mean you plan, not mean you plan a month at a time. I no, I'm not that um, ambitious. I'm just saying when I get it planned, write down what we had, and then I can look back at a month glance and see what we had and when we had it. Did we have it recently? And kind of maybe keep myself better on track. So I don't know. I might go back and get another one and have two of them. I don't know. But anyway, it comes with two, um, I don't know if they're sticky notes or just notepads down here on the bottom. But I thought that was a real pretty pattern. So I'll probably go back and get another one, you know. And I wish I had got two of these. I don't know what I was thinking. So, I'll, well, I'll go back and get another one of these. I wanted to change my peel holders because I have four now. I quit using that really big one. Hold on just a minute. I got to cough. I, I quit using that really big one because it was just kind of hard to maneuver. So I'm using four separate ones because I take pills four times a day. But this is an AM and a PM stuck together. So I thought, oh, well, I'll do my 8 AM and my 8 PM in this little thing. And then I was like, well, I could have got another one and put my 12 and my 4 in it, which AM and PM might have confused me. But I can write on the side 8 AM, 8 PM, 12, whatever. So I may go back and get another one of these. But I thought this was a very... Um, handy especially if you only take morning and night peels this is very very um good now these i got how cute i don't know what i'm gonna do with them i don't have a craft in mind i don't i don't have anything in mind i just know they were cute there are six of them in there i just thought it was adorable so i needed it then i got these 45 pieces Look at these with the butterflies and these with the flowers. Look at those. Aren't those pretty? I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Glue them in a journal. That's all. I don't know. <laughs> I needed them. Look what I found. Look, look what I found. Dish brushes. I just bought one at Walmart's. And when I saw these, I went ahead and got two of them to have on hand since they actually had them in stock. And this, I may already have gotten, there's only one. It was just hanging there. There was no other dies, none. This is the only one hanging there. And I can't remember. I bought some, I um, found some there here a long while back. And I can't remember if the hearts were one of them. But if it is, if I'm cutting out some hearts, then I can just cut out two of the same size at the same time. So, I mean, it's not a big deal if I already have them. So, but $1.25 for some dies? You can't beat that. And then I needed some cumin so i just i just got the dollar tree kind because i just don't feel like i'm gonna be at the spice shop anytime soon and then i got these for when sebastian comes i thought he might like them the fruit loop cereal straws because he loves milk and i don't know if he likes cereal or not we don't we don't know everything about him which is sad we know what we know when he comes down here but we don't know about him up there but i thought Casey likes them. I got two. There's five in a pack. And then check it out. I got it. Let's see. Okay, there, there's where it was in it. Look at how pretty. Ain't that pretty? I got four of them because they ain't like a little over a yard on each one. That that is what I went for. That right there, that's what I went for the other day. I was going to have that lace or bust a gut trying to find it, and I found it. So there's all four. I'm so happy about it. And then, of course, I found some stickers. They're coming out with stickers. These are just because there's pigs in them. <laughs> so there's those, those, and those. But yeah, I couldn't resist the little piggies. And these are new. These um will make pretty little page accents. Look at they had like black and clear and they had pink and clear and blue and clear, but I just wanted the multicolored ones. I just thought those were pretty. Those will make real pretty page accents. So will this. Yeah. Those are pretty. Those gemstones that I got like this that were um Christmassy that I put in my Christmas um, journal. They were very pretty. So that's why I thought I'd get them. This is new too. Um, some gold butterflies. 
those will make some pretty accents on some pages. These are the other they I had got the flowers and the birds, and now here are the elephants in this style. And then these I got just because I thought they sounded fun. They're called scratch stickers. So there's pink and silver, and then a big pink and silver. And what you do is you scratch off the back. I thought those would be fun, just a fun accent in a journal, just just something fun, just just a, a fun um, interactive piece in a journal. So that's why I got that. And they were in the Halloween mm -mm. Valentine section. I got this to put in my plant on the front porch this spring. Check it out though; it's like three days. Got the little seat and everything, but I thought that was pretty. Now that one spins. The back one does not. It's um, but it's on the long stake. Isn't that pretty? They had a blue one too. They had a, a number of these um, stakes. And then I got two of these. I've seen them. I seen a sale. Seen them last year. I, I didn't get them. I'm like, because I'm thinking about working in my room. I might could use these because, or, or I could use them back here. I don't know. But it's those hanging. Um, shelves. That's what that wall shelf. But you see how you just hang it, and there's the thing. So it'd be like that against the wall. So I got two of those. I'll I'll figure out somewhere to put them. Now here, here is what I'm the second most excited about. I didn't know they had these until I was watching a haul this morning. I looked up, and my Dollar Tree had them. These. Big birdhouses. Look how big that is. You know those little ones we did? Look at this. So it's got the little thing on it, which I'll take that off. So there's that one with the butterfly. See, it's just... And there's this one with the flower and the bees. And then this one with the birds. And this, see, this is cut out. That, that's all cut out. It's not... Um, burnt on there. That That is a cutout. <laughs> Aren't those gorgeous? I can't wait to decorate those. So that's all I got from the um, Dollar Tree. That wasn't too bad. I don't think that was too bad. Got me some crafts and some, some things that I can use. Alright, now let me show you the couple things I got at the Habitat. First off, I'm going to insert a picture. This is a picture that I got because when I'm filming in the kitchen for my hauls, you can see behind me a big clock and those two metal things beside of it. And I've just grown tired of that. I've just, it's been up there for too many years, maybe three years. I don't know. I'm tired of it. So I was looking at the pictures, which I never do. I never go over there. It's the lamps and the pictures. And I just never go over there and look because I never have anywhere to put anything. And I'm like, I'm going to go look because I'm tired of that. I come across this picture, and I think it is so pretty, and the colors match in my living room so good. Guess how much I give for that? I don't know. If, I kind of come back, so you can kind of get an idea how big it is. It's very big. I mean, it's big. Five dollars. That's all I give. And the back is on a, a wire, you know, screwed in with a wire on it, so it's real easy to hang. Mm -hmm. $5. And as soon as I saw that, and I looked at it several times to make sure there wasn't like a two in front of it or a one in front. <laughs> oh, it was $5. It's in perfect condition. So I moved that. And since we can't see, neither one of us can see the clock. I have a view of the clock in the kitchen from my chair, but I can't see what time it is if it's dark. So I had some picture um frames with a bunch of different pictures in it a little set over beside the tv above my little table so i took it down and put the clock over there because i know david's gonna say well how am i gonna find out what time it is <laughs> so i'm like i'll find somewhere else to put them pictures or i'll take them pictures out and i'll do something anyway so i put the clock over there it looks nice it looks nice i hate that when you take stuff down you have holes but i don't know i'll spackle it if i feel like it 
And then I found this. It's 50 cents for a little bowl. It's a Better Homes and Gardens bowl. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Because you know I needed some bowls. And look at these. This was 50 cents for two bowls. And they are called Patina V or V. History and Style Collide. What do you know? And I can't read what that's made out of. Boy, that writing is so small. You can't see that. But it's it's a pretty heavy little. Maybe it's melamine, something like that. It's heavier than this. But 50 cents, I needed them. And then check this out. This was $3 for this little thing. And I got that humongous thing in there for 5 Check it out. ASAP, as southern as possible. <laughs> That's going in my craft room. Yes, sir, re Bob. I loved it. What, what, what I tell you was $3. So, yeah, I love that. And then I got this. I didn't need it, but you... You don't pass up a big old tiny Tupperware bowl with a lid for four dollars. So I just had to wash it up real good, give it a good scrub and a good clean and everything. It'll be good as new. But yeah, I thought that was a deal for four dollars because they normally mark their Tupperware expensive up there. And then I got some free stuff. See, they have buggies on the outside that you can paw through and it's free. Some I've, I've found some stuff out of it before, and then sometimes it's just pure tea, junk, and trash. Well, today, and you have to get it and take it to your car. You can't take it in because then they get confused. Was that something that was in there? It just wasn't marked or what? So if you get free stuff, then you take it to your car. Then you come in the shop. Well, I found stuff today. Check it out. Big old mess of plastic cups. You know why I got these? Because... If David's out there working in his building and he wants to take a drink, he can take one of these out there. And if he drops it, loses it, leaves it out there, it turns into mold, gets grease all over it, it can just go in the garbage can. If one of the kids is here and they want to take a drink home or something, here you go, take it. No big deal. And they was free. I'll just give them a real good wash and a bleach probably. And some of them is like... Well, like there's a Duke, the Blue Devils. I don't know what Divine Dining is. River City. Oh, River City Cafe. We've been there down at Myrtle Beach. We have our, um, I try to find a picture of it. If I can find a picture of it, I will insert it. You can carve your initials and write on it anything you want to do on the booths that you sit in. That I mean, it's encouraged and they're covered. And so, um, when we went to the beach in, I think it was 2013, maybe, the whole family went. Their, their boyfriends, their girlfriends, we, we all went. And we went to the River City Cafe, and David got the big old burger. It's like, this tall. It's like, you know, we dare you to eat it. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, okay, well, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. And so we carved, I said, give me your pocket knife. I carved a K plus D into the booth, and I took a picture of it. So if I can find that picture, I think it might be on Facebook. I might can scroll through Facebook and find it. I'll um, insert it right here. So that's all we're going to chat about today, just in case we have another haul this week. Who knows? Who knows? Listen, I may have to go to the Salvation Army tomorrow because you know Senior Citizen Day. You never know. All right, well, that's it for this portion. Stay tuned for whatever's coming up next. Okay, so I've been back out at it. Been out in the rain. Today, I went to Wanda's because Holly wanted four more of the plates that we got when we were there. Oh, gosh, it's been a while back. And she only got four. She thought that would be enough, and she got thinking about it. She, she really wanted eight. So I told her, I'm like, they're there. I saw them. So, I got up this morning. I thought, well, I'll go down there and get those for her. <sighs> if I would have just walked in, got her plates, and walked out, I wouldn't have spent anything. But that is not what happened. <laughs> so, I got some stuff at Wanda's. And where do I always go when I go to Wanda's? C-Van. And I found some stuff in there. So, let's do Wanda's first. 
Well, the first thing I got were these two. I just got two of them. The sheet, there was a stack of them, but I just got two. Until I found those last ones there, this size and style, this is a different pattern. I don't have that pattern. Um, it's like a little, um, it's a plate, but it's, it's not a bowl. But the size of this is a little smaller than the small plates that I have. And it was, it's good size for a lot of things. So I just went ahead and picked up two of those. Now, whenever I, I have this Harmony collection, I've read it and I've reread it. I have the whole set and I will never get rid of it. Um, but when I find a nice hardback book in something I'm collecting, for these kind of books, I like to get it. And I have never seen this there. I, I bet I've looked over it probably a thousand times because I bet it's not new. But it's in such nice condition. So I'm going to replace my um, soft cover with this nice hard cover. I love a good um, hardback book. And then I got this one. I hadn't seen it there before. It's the Concord Police um, Auxiliary. And that's Concord Canapolis, but it doesn't have a date. But this is how I know it's old. Let me make sure if I didn't miss the date. Let's see. This is how we know it's old. Look at those telephone numbers. You see it's got the... They, we didn't have area area codes, but see, it's like state something something dash something something. That's old. <laughs> so it's just a, a one of the the typed kind. You know, it looks like it's been on typewriter. So I had to have it since it's, it's local. And then this, I just couldn't resist. It was three ninety five. And gold star for anybody that can tell me who makes who made this. I had to read it and see because I wasn't sure. There's a couple of things I flipped through there and I thought, oh, that sounds kind of tasty. It is Weight Watchers. Look. It's copyright Weight Watchers International, 1974-1982. So I'm guessing this is probably the 1982. So why did I have to have to have it? Because retro. And you know how I am. And I found this. Check this out. It was three dollars. Three dollars. All I saw was this pretty box with the butterfly. I'm like, oh well, let me see what's in it. I shook it before I opened it up. I shook it. Okay, there's something in it. Look at this. It, it opens up. It's a recipe box. And it's Sandra Lee. It is a Sandra Lee recipe box. The, the whole thing is Sandra Lee. How cool is that? So, yeah, I got that to go with my collection. You better know I did. Then, you know how I love my magazines. And Wanda, sometimes she'll have them and sometimes she won't. Well, I looked, well, let me, I'll show you that in a minute. I got something else before I found the magazines. And I saw the uh, milk crate sitting on top of a little shelf, little bookshelf. I'm like, is that magazines? So sure enough, it was. Well, I got like Taste of Home, The Craft Food and Family, some first, some Women's Day, not many, um, Food Network magazine, um, Pretty much that's the, the only types it was. And that this many, oh, if I'm going to pick them up. <laughs> that many magazines. I counted. And if I didn't miss any, it's 43. Well, if I'm not mistaken, oh, that's heavy. Her magazines are a quarter a piece. So I set them up on the thing because one this is an old grocery store it used to be a grocery store and it's got just a little bitty short um checkout lines and so i set them up there and she looked down and she just 
pushed them down. She goes, I, I told her, I said, I don't even know how many I got. She goes, I'm charging $5 and walking on down the road. <laughs> like, I can take that deal. Because at 43 and a quarter a piece, that is more than $5. So, Wanda does me good. She does me good. So, I got that um, whole stack of magazines for $5. I'm thrilled over that. Because you know how I love going through my magazines. This next thing, this is the last thing I have. I have looked at it for literal years. Literally years. And parts of it would be strode here. There's parts there. But I never wanted to like come off and pay a quarter piece for little. Let me show you. Little things like this. I love these things. <laughs> See that old school. Old timey. Okay. So those. Just book pamphlets. Old, new, everywhere in between. And I thought, you know what? Like I did those greeting cards. I'm going to ask her. And like I did those um, ornaments. Um, I went up there. I said, one. I had it in my buggy. I said, would you consider selling me this box? She goes, I will sell anything. <laughs> I will sell it all. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Wanda, would you sell me the store? I will sell it all. I said, for the right price? She said, you better know it. <laughs> So let me show you what I got. This is very heavy too. But it was in this bucket. And I found another little stack somewhere else. She has a different, some books in different places. And I found another little stack I just went ahead and added to it. But look at all that. Guess what she sold it to me for? $5. That is like the number the magic number five dollars so like okay what is this christmas around the world p p s e and g public service enterprise group incorporated so there's that let's see let's reach in here and find something else what is this eating for health trillium nutrition series um okay what's this diabetic snacks um, I'm just going to reach and grab something. 100 delicious recipes for your Dormeyer fry well. Check it out. See if we can find something. Okay, here's something. Preventions, meals that heal. Um, Whirlpool range cooking guide. Oh, here's a little, some kind of little book. Um, Classic home cooking. Just a little paperback book okay what is this oh the veg owl i'm too tired to cook book i'll take it here is oh that is an old pillsbury pillsbury classics number seven low calorie cookbook well that's old look at that well y'all can't see look at that let's see if it's got a date in it 1980 it's just I graduated high school in 1980, and I just don't like to think about that as being old. I was watching a TikTok. He was talking about these young kids today talking about the 80s and the 90s as the late 1900s. He's like, shut up. <laughs> you can't be talking like that because that's when we were young. You can't be saying, oh, in the late 1900s. That sounds like in the late 1800s. That, no, I'm with him. No, Kill that noise. So, anyway, I got that. Oh, there's a children's book or something. Dolphins. I got a book about dolphins. All kinds of stuff in here. What's that? The Gift of Christmas. A little Christmas book. So, yeah, I got a whole bunch of those to go through. So, that was um, what all I got at Wanda's. And then, like I said, I come back up through um, to the C-Van, and I looked at their clothes first. They have their um, plus sizes separated out. This is a Chaps No Iron 3X. See, 
see the sleeves? You see the buttons there? Isn't that pretty? I thought that was nice. No iron? See, that's at my alley because I don't iron. I do not iron. Obviously, y'all watch me on this channel. Y'all know I don't iron. <laughs> so I got that. It was $4, I think. $3.99. Yeah, for a chap shirt that looks and feels brand new. And then I found this. I don't know who True Living is, but it's Wild Strawberry. I don't normally get fruity scents. But, y'all, this thing smells so good. It wasn't but $1.99. And it's a good three week, so it should burn properly. So that's why I got that. When I get through with my hazelnut, that's what else I got at Walmart. Said I um, deleted the, the footage of was a hazelnut candle, the kind I used to um, buy all the time. And then I found two two sticker things, three sticker things. These were seventy nine cents, just some um, little tag stickers. I guess they're stickers. Yeah, they are little tag stickers. And then I like um, word stickers. They were 79 cents. I really like word stickers. They they finish a page off. And then these, these were also 79 cents. Now there was a woman. And see, I didn't get over to where the crafty things are. I come in and looked at normally. I do not look at the clothes. I go straight over to the housewares where the stationary stuff is, and then I scooch on over to the craft the aisle. And I didn't do that today. And this woman beat me there. You know, I can spot stuff like this a mile away. She come around. I seen her buggy. I'm looking, trying not to be conspicuous about it. Look at what she had in that buggy. She had some scrapbook papers and some stickers. And she had some other stuff up in here, up in the seat part of the buggy that I know would have been some stuff I would have bought. And I'm like, if I hadn't stopped looking at that shirt, but I'm like, you know what? You just found a whole, ooh, there was some pretty papers in that one that I bought. Y'all wait, yeah, y'all seen it. It come for this in that book of, um, no, when me and Holly went, that book of scrapbook papers, that was pretty, real pretty. Anyway, so that's fine. I, I didn't, y'all seen my craft room. I didn't need more, but it's really not about needing. <laughs> then... I sent a picture of these to Holly because she wants some canisters and I wasn't sure what kind she wanted. So I sent a picture of these to her. Was this anything? And I went ahead and put them in my buggy because if she said yes, then somebody might have, would have got them. And I thought, well, if she don't want them, I do. So let me show you. They're just plain white. Just nice. See, I can cricket anything on here I want. This biggest one was $3.99. You see, it's not even, it's not oversized, so it's not like a big counter hog. So $3.99 for that one. The next size was $1.99. And this is made by Cook's Club. I don't rightly know them. So anyway, $1.99 for the next size. And then for the smallest one was also $1.99. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So, a nice set of canisters for eight bucks. You can't beat it. I got a spot right over there. You know, I've been redecorating. I got a spot right over there on the counter to put them. I'm just going to get them good and cleaned up. Decide what I want to cricket on there. Decide what I want to put in them. And there you go. So, oh, one more thing. I see, man. I'm about to forgot. About to forgot. It is this False Craft Serving Platter. $3.99. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's good and heavy. See? Look at that. $3.99 for a false crap Christmas platter. So, yeah, I jumped on it. Well, it's got something. Oh, it's even got the use and care label still in it. Hey, you can't beat that. And I got to find somewhere. I'll probably put it in my closet in here. Because I'm afraid that might get broke in the um, Christmas tub. Because my, my Christmas tubs are so full. Oh my gosh. 
So anyway, so that was what I got. Now, let me just tell you this. Listen, I was um, through, and I know David said if he felt like it, he was going to go down and work at the house. And so I thought, well, it was getting close to lunchtime. I'd call and see if he was home. Didn't want me to bring anything. Because like I said on my menu plan, it don't always always planned. And sometimes life just happens. We do different things. So I called him. He goes, he was hungry because he just got in. He got a shower. He said, I just laid on the couch. He said, I hadn't even got anything to eat. He was tired. He's just too tired. So I'm like, okay, well, what you want? He goes, well, you know what I like? I said, yeah, I know what you like, but what do you want? What restaurant do you want it from? And so I told him where I was at. He goes, well, there's a Chick-fil-A there. I said, you took the words out of my mouth. I was going to tell you that Chick-fil-A because we don't ever get to go. We just never go. And um, I get in line and it's before lunch, so it's not real crowded. And I'm going to tell you what, Chick-fil-A is the fastest fast food you can get, at least in these parts the fastest and they got two lanes they got i, I imagine they do it because i've been to chick-fil-a like in other cities and they have their people out there with their little handheld computer taking your order well i got up there and i told that little boy i said well i said i don't come here very often so i don't have the me menu memorized because oh well, come up here so he motioned me to go up further and get to the menu so i looked at it i told him i said i hate to slow you down because i know y'all y'all work in a a quick you know thing because you're fine you, you take your time and so he was so sweet and so then i got through it there and i, and I went around and the boy uh, standing under the umbrella did you have the so and so i'm like yes yeah. so he was real sweet and then i get up to the boy standing outside the window handing me my food you don't have to reach in the window chick-fil-a gonna hand you your food to you i come in and i told david i said Whoever said Disney World was the happiest place on earth has never been to the Chick-fil-A across from the mall. <laughs> I said if I could afford to eat there every day I'd go just to get the 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 feeling of how special I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. They were so bubbly and nice and helpful and, and energetic and kind and sweet. Oh my gosh, yeah. Which I think is maybe part of Chick-fil-A's job description. But it's nice that it is. And it's nice that they comply. And then and they seem genuine. Don't seem like anybody was forcing anything. You're like, oh, okay, have a nice day. You know, nothing like that. They seem genuinely um, friendly. So, yeah, that was a great experience. I got a salad. Couldn't eat the whole thing. I, I ate my chicken off of it. So I get my protein. And left most of the lettuce. Ate my egg. I don't know what else is laid up in that lettuce. Because I couldn't fit all of it in my belly. That was good though. And I got me a diet lemonade. Which I got to wait to drink. So by the time I get through with all this and everything. It'd probably be about time to drink my lemonade. But that that's what I did today. No, I don't think nothing else went on. Just it's poet it was pouring when I went out this morning. I, and I left my umbrella in the car, so if I had to go back out, well, I'm sunk. Normally, it just sprinkles. I wear a hat. That's why my head is all flat and everything, because I have my hat on. I, I wear a hat if it's raining. and um, But it was pouring so bad, I had to get the umbrella. I mean, it was gully washing. And we had thunder and lightning, so seven days. Snow. Last time I said that, we didn't get snow, but we did have snowflakes several of my friends in town on facebook said it was snowing so the wives tale did hold up to within seven days you'll have snow so today is the third right no two three four oh today's the fourth today is the fourth so seven days we should get snow. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, well, that is all for this part of chatting hall. I don't know if anything is coming up yet or not. So you just have to stay tuned. Okay, I realize this is not always the best <laughs> picture that I can take. Not that I'm professional in any sense of the word, but 
I have found out how much easier it is just to sit here and record on my laptop that I don't have to take the video off my camera and put it on my laptop because it's just already there. I don't have to set up a tripod. I'm just, uh, here I am. So I was just coming on to tell you that's the end of the video. I figured um, when I sat down and started editing the two hauls that I did, that's enough for one video. And so you're probably seeing this on Friday. I'm pretty sure I didn't look, but I think my last chat and haul was this Monday. That's because I did the challenge on Friday. But since our challenge started on a Monday, I'd rather do our weekly checkups on a Monday because that would be the full week. So that's why you can get two chat and hauls this week. And then I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do it regularly on Fridays will be my chat and haul. That will be my regular day for that. So anyway, that is all for this um, installment. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you back whatever let's see if, if you're seeing this on friday i'll see you back for meal prep okay have a good one i'll see you then